I've used a reball from some works in a series back in the 1980s. I was going for the definition against the grain or against nature. It just had that connotation. I start from scratch. I may have not a feeling, but a general idea of what I'm after, um, but I've got to go hunting. I think I go on the hunt for, you know, what is going to happen next. You know. But I think that that initial playing around is probably subconscious, or then and then something does come to my consciousness and that's when I hone in. The analogue technique um, did have restrictions. I, I mean, you could manipulate to a point um, with an enlarger, um, but it was tedious, uh, very serendipitous results at times, hard to control. Although, you know, sometimes not having total control is great. Picking up digital photography wasn't immediate. There would have been practitioners working with digital imagery mid-80s. What I recall of the stuff that was being produced at that time didn't excite me very much, um, but as the you know processes were refined, um, that's when I jumped in. I think the earlier aesthetic was pretty crude. I don't always use a lens with the digital work. It can often be you know just through pure scanning um, of earlier negatives or, you know, any so other source material. Experimentation comes to play quite a lot, very much in the mode of sketching um, or, you know, doodling or, <laughs> or whatever. Um, and, you know, some things have potential, so you continue with it, other things you look at in horror and think, no, nope, that goes on the floor. <laughs> you could discard something. If I go back over, let's say, a pile of work prints two years p post my first attempt and or where I had rejected them, and I think, oh my God, you know, there's something there that's damn good. Yeah. You can't manipulate something to the point where it becomes so artificial or, or you know, not relate to, let's say, with, you know, work using the body. I'm, I'm not into grotesquerie as such. I think that I do err on the side of subtle, subtlety or try to have things or make things look as seamless as possible, you know, so that it may take a viewer just a little while to, oh, you know, that can't be right, yeah. My use of colour, I think, is another manipulation. I'm looking at an image across the room right now and you're never going to see a body that pink in reality. The particular image I'm looking at, it's emotional. I use it in an emotional way, I think. Seeking beauty may seem to be a soft option. The way I try to reproduce beauty, um, it's not an easy thing to do and 
you know, it's a, there's a fine balance between, you know, something that's downright ugly. Um, but I've also, you know, like would say that, you know, some of my imagery is downright ugly, but it just has that sort of, um, it's not awesomeness, it's a delicate balance, um, you know, or walking that fine line between, you know, sort of something that's beautiful and it's antithesis. These are all human constructs. Beauty to one person is, you know, another person's monstrosity. Art uh, means a lot to me. Uh, that, I think, is my inspiration and what other artists do as, as well. I'm not just talking visual arts as such, I'm literature, yeah, film. I think I said, was said to someone about half an hour ago, is this really my work? Is this really me? Um, because I, have, I don't think I've, you know, seen the images um, hung like this before. You know, with plenty of room and um, juxtapositions of, you know, sight lines and what you see. Yeah, it was a bit. Um, humbling in a way, yeah, no, I was chuffed. <laughs>